Heather gets what she wants when she wants it. She knows how to get it. She doesn't take no for an answer. Um, she's very in tune with her environment and um, and knows how to work it in any situation. Heather is in the heightened reality of someone who's just got a lot to lose right now. She's in a place in her life where she needs to make a decision. Um, she's a very lonely, I think, um, I sort of see her as like a lone wolf, you know, and the, the parts of her that I always, you know, that come to mind is like sort of like a fighter, a survivor, um, a player, for sure. I think Heather and Nikki are two little kids lost in the world that, you know, that create themselves, you know, to, in order to feel whole, in, or, in order to feel like they belong. You know, it's that, again, it's that chameleon thing, you know, they know, they know what character to embody in a given situation. And I think what happens to the two of them when they meet each other is when they're together, they're themselves. They're like the little kids that they really would love to be and can't experience in the world around them because nobody wants to see that, you know. You don't get things by being a kid. This has been the most incredible, fulfilling, just enjoyable experience that I've ever had. I mean, on so many levels, you know, creatively, it's, it's a great script, it's a great cast, great director. Um, Everyone in the movie is great. The producers, the DP, and it has been such, you know, it's it's such a product of, of love and care. I think everyone just really cares about making this movie and telling the story. And I mean, for me, it's been exceptional. I've just, I've never had this much fun in a movie. He's incredible. I mean, as an actor, as a partner, you know, I'll just break it down. As an actor, to work in a scene opposite, you know, he gives it his all every time. He's completely giving. As a partner, as far as, you know, we're in it together. We're all a part of a team, and he's just, he's been such an amazing team player. He's on top of everything. He knows, you know, he's he's very aware of everything. He's very knowledgeable. He's have, He has a lot of experience, and you know, he's been there for me a ton. You know, I, I don't have as much experience as him, and there have been times when I needed help, you know, and he's been there for me. And, I mean, it's so much more than I could have ever asked for. And and he really impresses me, you know. I think times when, you know, we can't figure something out, the shot is not right, like, he comes up with a solution. You know, the light is not in the right place, and, you know, he sees that, like, he comes up with a solution. And... It's inspiring. I mean, I, ho I hope I can be there one day. The film being referred to as iconic, I like, ab absolutely. Um, I think it's a very L.A. story. Um, it's very real. All the characters in it exist, uh, especially in L.A. I think the locations, I mean, we're filming in all the locations, which is great, because we really get to explore L.A. And, um, you know, there are certainly films in the past that have been made that, um, that portrayed, you know, either Los Angeles or New York and, you know, in its fullest. And I, I, I certainly feel like this is going to be one of those films that people will watch. And, I mean, anywhere from, you know, wardrobe to um, the characters, the locations, the story, to the things that are happening. You know, it's, um, it's very L.A.-based and very real.